afternoon and welcome to Ross Carberry and the Celtic Ross Hotel uh, for what promises to be a fascinating and stimulating afternoon learning about and discussing the business of social media. As I wrote in the Star last week, there are some very big numbers um, revolving around the social media world at the moment. Facebook has in the region of 700 million plus users on its way to 1 billion. Twitter has something like 200 million plus accounts and apparently over 100 million tweets are tweeted every day. And LinkedIn has about 100 million members and apparently something like 2 billion people searches took place last year. And that's not even to mention some of the eye-watering valuations that are being applied to some of these businesses. Um, I do a lot of talks around the country to different groups and there's so much because there is such interest in social media but there isn't as much take up on it. So there's a number of reasons why people would be hesitant to get into to social media. But the thing is, is that it is a very valuable business tool and most of us that have used it have found that to be the case. It really is a matter of going about it in the right way. So I'm saying join the revolution of social media as a way to do business. Now what I found is because I'm working with many customers on this sort of thing, and it's funny because people will hire me to help them with their social media, but it's like pulling teeth. Because they'll be sitting there going, oh, this isn't really my thing, or oh, you know, I don't want to tell people what I had for breakfast. And the things that you hear, and the thing is, but you hired me, and you think you should be doing this, and I really do believe you should be doing this. So it's I've come up with a strategy for people to to work this into their normal business life and the way that they do their business. So that social media is integrated with what you do. So it's not something extra that you have to do. So, so the key aspect, I think, for successful use of social media is to ensure that the people who are using it on your behalf, in your business, um, and who are there, if you like, representing you and your online reputation, your brand, understand what they can and they can't do uh, for you, and um, basically you, you ensure that you avoid the potential for serious damage or harm that could happen to your business online uh, because you set clear boundaries. Now, let's look at some examples of how not to use social media. Um, this man is uh, Anthony uh, Weiner, and uh, he may not be known to many of you. Um, in fairness, his face is not the part of his anatomy that he's most famous for at the moment. Uh, he did something extraordinarily stupid in terms of what he put up there, but uh, he, he thought he was sending a pr private message and it went on personally. So it's just in terms of employees or anybody using business, if you're sending what you think is, is, is a private message, you're sending maybe a disparaging remark about a competitor or, a, or, 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 a, or, a, or a, an awkward customer, um, and you think it's being sent as a personal message from some one person to somebody else, um, th th this is something that we need to, be, to, you need to take particular care about in social media. Social media is now becoming, or has become, what the phone used to be. Um, you'd often see tweets like, anybody know a good plumber in West Cork? Uh, I'm involved in the marketing for the reopening of the Clonakilty Hotel, where the web and social media produced 10,000 euros worth of summer bookings in the first seven days. And this was without any traditional advertising. So, as a new business at Ghostlight Media, 75% of our clients have come as a result of initial contact on social media. They're not all in West Cork, there are no parish, county or national boundaries, and we don't have a landline. When they teach you to speak at TED, they ask you to do this exercise. They say, go out in front, rock back on your feet, Plant yourself and then talk. They say don't hide behind the lectern and don't talk in a quiet voice, but plant yourself first. Can you notice there's a difference in the context of my speaking when I'm behind here or whether I'm out front? And it all comes just from planting your feet. Little subtle things make a big difference in the way we perceive people. And social media is no different. 
when you are creating your social media presence, you have to be perceived as you want to be perceived. And the beauty of social media is that if you're a bit clever about it, you get to choose how that is. So, what can social media do? Absolutely nothing. It's just a set of tools. And by a set of tools, I mean a real set. You have Google, you have Facebook, you have Twitter, you have YouTube, and people are thinking, hang on, Google's not a social media site. Believe me, it is. There's a big difference between the qualities of the social media sites and the types of tools they offer you. The most impactful social media I can think of is video, because it packs a lot of content into a little time, and therefore it's very likely to spread quickly if you get it right. When you tell your story, tell it fast. You have about three seconds. We Forest Making Earth Cooler tells a story really fast. You need to tell it with enough speed and enough precision that people will be interested. The fastest way to lose your audience and to lose your customers is to be boring. The fastest way to build a following base is to be interesting. Because if you're boring, people vote with their eyeballs. They leave. If you're interesting, you have a chance. And the most interesting <coughs> thing we have is our stories. Thank you. Thank you.